just finishing off writing my Christmas cards. They are a little expensive to send, but I think they're a wonderful way to let people know I'm thinking of them. This one's for my sister, Sarah. She's also a cook. But I must get on. We're all very busy making plum puddings and mincemeat. Even Fanny's busy making butter in the dairy. I'm going to make Swiss baskets. A lovely dish to have between the meat and the plum pudding, but before the ices. For this recipe, you will need butter, sugar, eggs, lemon zest, flour, red currant jelly, pistachio nuts, cream, cherries, and angelica. First, I'm preparing my moulds. I've already buttered them, so now I'm going to sprinkle them with a mixture of flour and sugar. I'm using Dario moulds, fluted Dario moulds, but you can use any small pudding moulds or even coffee cups. Now I'm going to make my castle pudding mix. And to begin, I'm going to cream the sugar and butter together. Adding the zest as I go. Now the castle puddings are only going to use about half of my mix, so I'm going to think ahead and use the rest for making small cakes for afternoon tea. Now I'm going to add my eggs one at a time. Leading up to Christmas, the servants can be busy across the estate, and so we often bring in help from the local village. Retired servants, or married women, or one of Mr Barker, the gamekeeper's sons, of which he has many. Now I'm going to fold in the flour. Now I'm going to fill my moulds two-thirds of the way up. Christmas Day itself should be quite peaceful. Perhaps their daughter, Augusta, or Mr Strutt might come up from London. Lady Monson, Lady Braybrook's sister, might be expected. And the rest of this mix, I'm going to give to Mary Ann, so she can make the small cakes. There we are. They're now ready for the oven. Now that 
these have properly cooled, I can turn these castle puddings into Swiss baskets. If they've risen, you'll need to cut them off so they're nice and flat. Mine are already flat. I'm going to cut out the middle of each one. These aren't Christmas dishes as such, but I think the colours will complement the flowers and the greenery on the Christmas table. And Lady Braybrook was very complimentary when I last made them. Now I'm going to brush them with red currant jelly. Marianne? Is it hot? Yes, Mrs. Crookham. Now you can go and whip the cream. Yes, Mrs. Crookham. Come to think of it, there aren't very many specific Christmas dishes. All of the houses I worked at before had asparagus and Palestine soup. That's Jerusalem artichoke. Nesserel pudding was very popular at Langley Hall, the last house I worked at. They also liked roast swan. Well, there's turkey, of course, and goose. Poultry's popular throughout December. Now I'm going to roll them in the pistachios. Marianne has whipped the cream. I'm going to fill each basket in the middle. And add a cherry on top. And to make them look a little bit more like baskets, I'm going to add a tiny strip of Angelica for the handle. Angelica is from a plant that's ooh, easily as tall as myself, and it has a hollow stem. Angelica is green. We bought this from the grocer in Walden. I suspect a little colouring has been added to make it look this vibrant. And there we are, Swiss baskets. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Yeah.